Good afternoon and welcome back YouTube and God bless all those who have found this video. Let me give you some edification concerning the Gog and Magog war. We have a lot of false preacher teachers out there today folks. Many of them preach doom and gloom because it gets likes and it gets views. It makes the ears tingle. But listen to what is said. Satan is bound for a thousand years. I saw an angel coming down from heaven having the key to the abyss and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold of the dragon, the serpent of old, who is the devil and Satan, and he bound him for a thousand years. He threw him into the abyss and shut it and sealed it over him, so that he should not deceive the nations any longer until the thousand years were completed. After these things, he must be released for a short time. So after the saints' millennial reign... And it says, when the thousand years are completed, Satan will be released from his prison and he will go out to deceive the nations which are in the four corners of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together for the war. The number of them is like the sand of the seashore. This is after Satan has been bound for a thousand years and again after the millennial reign as I've showed here on this channel many times. It says, I saw thrones and they sat upon them and judgment was given to them, to the 12 apostles who Jesus said he would give crowns and thrones to that would judge the 12 tribes of Israel. And he saw the souls of those who had been beheaded because of the testimony of Jesus and because of the word of God. Because of the testimony of Jesus, which is the spirit of prophecy, these who were beheaded and killed were prophets. They had not worshipped the beast or his image and had not received the mark upon their forehead or upon their hand, and they came to life and they reigned with Christ for a thousand years. The rest of the dead did not come to life until the thousand years were completed. This is the first resurrection. The first resurrection is for the prophets, apostles, and the saints. The rest of the dead, it says, did not come to life until the thousand years were completed. Blessed and holy, these are holy individuals, is the one who has part in the first resurrection. They have the testimony of Jesus, which is the spirit of prophecy. And a prophet edifies. Over these, the second death has no power, but they will be priests of God and of Christ and will reign with him for a thousand years. And after this thousand years, Satan will be released from his prison. He will come out to deceive the nations which are in the four corners of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together for the war. The number of them is like the sand of the seashore. Folks, I cannot stress how important it is to pay attention to what you listen to. As Jesus told us, take heed what you listen to if you want more to be given to you. If you're not listening to the truth, you're not going to gain any more at least any true knowledge. These men that are preaching this war is at the door, or at least a thousand years too early. At the least. After he gathers Gog and Magog, he'll be thrown into the lake of fire. The devil who deceived them was thrown into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are also. They will be tormented day and night forever and ever. And after he's thrown into the lake of fire, it says, I saw a great white throne and him who sat upon it, from whose presence earth and heaven fled away, and there was no place found for them. And I saw the dead, the great and the small, standing before the throne, and books were opened. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged from the things which were written in the books according to their deeds. I saw books. He said books were opened and another book was opened, which is the book of life. Which book are you in? Which book are you in? Do you assume that you're in the book of life? Do you know for sure? The beast, 
that went into the lake of fire with the false prophet and with Satan, that you saw was and is not, is about to come up out of the abyss and go to destruction. And those who dwell on the earth will wonder whose name has not been written in the book of life from the foundation of the world when they see the beast, that he was and is not and will come. All those who dwell on the earth will wonder whose name has not been written in the book of life. Indeed, I do wonder. But this war cannot happen, folks, until after Satan has been bound for a thousand years. Take heed who you're listening to. Because Jesus told us if we listen to false prophets, we'll perish with them. He's going to destroy the, all those who entertain them. One lie or no lie is of the truth. 